Freedom is never at any price. It is the breath of life. Freedom in soul. Faith in words. Pride in soul. A very good morning to each and every proud citizen who is present here. He is Sahil and she is Jeremy. We are gathered here to celebrate a memorable day of our country India. Today is not just a day to be marked in our calendar. This is the day where the dreams of Avalian patriots and nationalists became fulfilled. Happy 75th Independence Day to all of us. We are all gathered here to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of independence and the glorious history of its people, culture and achievements. Furthermore, the government of India has initiated Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. This official journey of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav commenced on 12th March 2021. It started a 75 week countdown to our 75th anniversary of independence and it will post a year on 15th August 2023. As our honored Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi quoted, like the history of the freedom movement, the journey of 75 years of independence is a reflection of hard work, innovation, enterprise of ordinary Indians. Whether in the country or abroad, we Indians have proved ourselves through hard work. We are proud of our constitution, we are proud of a democratic tradition, the mother of democracy. India is still moving forward by strengthening democracy. India, rich in knowledge and science, is leaving its mark from Mars to Moon. The Azadika Amrit Matsar means elixir of energy of independence, elixir of inspiration of the warriors of freedom struggle. Therefore, this Matsar is a festival of awakening of the nation, a festival of fulfillment, the dream of governance and the festival of global peace and development. Without further ado, it's time to welcome our chief guest on the behalf of our campus, Dr. Navin Kumar Chaudhary has been Professor of Cyber Security and Dean at National Forensic Sciences University, Gandhinagar, India since 2019. He holds the Bachelor's of Technology degree in Informational Technology and Telecommunication Engineering and Masters in Engineering in Digital Communication. He also holds Masters of Business Administration degree in Human Resource Management. He earns his PhD in Engineering and Advanced Certification in Cyber and Network Security. He heads the Training and International Relations Department of the University and holds the additional charge of the Director of NFSU Goa Campus. Please have a round of applause. He has an extensive experience of more than 24 years of engineer in engineering education, research and government. Prior to joining university as full time of professor, he was director of ministry at the external affairs of the government of India. He has also served as faculty and head of department in faculty of communication engineering at military college of telecommunication engineering in Madhya Pradesh. In his official capacity as Joint Director and Director in the Government of India, he steered many cutting-edge ICT projects and worked extensively on policy performances and cyber security and e-governance. He is recipient of a letter of appreciation for contribution towards the cause of literacy from Brent sent to the NF MP Algoma Calendar in 1994. Dubai Seva Award for his contribution to cybersecurity education in 2022 and COAS and CCOSC competition for his innovation and distinguished work in 2009 and 2015 respectively. I request our Dean Academic Dr. Pratik Patel to honor our Chief Guest with a bouquet. Please have a round of applause. In this 75th years of independence, I think that everyone will be in a hope of good energy and vibe. So clapping should not be stopped. 
This day holds a vital essence as India got complete freedom from the British and secured full autonomy on 15th August 1947, thereby holding a great meaning in the hearts of every Indian citizen. To honor our freedom fighters, I would like to call Devan Chaudhary from BSC Batch to address a few words on behalf of the occasion as the nation reverberates with patriotic fervor. Please give a round of applause, everyone. Good morning to director sir, all my teachers, staff members, and my friends. August 15, 1947 is as deep into history and people's collective memory as the day that India achieved independence. This year's Independence Day has a special significance for all of us as we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and completing 75 years of independence. This is the only festival that is celebrated by all religions in the country. When we talk about Diwali, it is celebrated in different ways. Some worship Durga, some worship Venkate, some worship Lakshmi, some worship something. But Independence Day, it is celebrated same from the Rajasthan to Arunachal Pradesh and same same from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. This story is not written in Vedas, Bible, or Quran. It's written. and it's written by blood of our ancestors still today you can smell the fragrance in jallianwala bagh that what they did for us on this day when i walk around my home and see kids holding flags in their hands and making themselves as i am bhagat singh i am chandrashekhar azad and naming one by one our freedom fighters this makes me feel proud this is the day where everyone says i am indian rather than naming their states religions castes or anything else Our last 75 years, India has channeled its civilizational strength and cultural diversity into a brand new shared future, and opportunities for achievement, progress, and prosperity for its billion plus citizens, making our country inspiration for the rest of the world. We have shown this in our vaccination program that it was difficult for the population of few crores, where India administered over 2.04 billion doses. I will name a famous example of external affairs minister Mr S Dr S Jayashankar he went with his son in USA and his son was vaccinated in United States and he was vaccinated in India so he went out with his son and somebody asked their covid cert- sorry vaccine certificate so his son was finding a paper from his pocket and he showed there this is the paper this is my vaccine certificate but at that time Our minister showed his mobile. Said, Look at my vaccine set. This QR code holds all information from the doctor, nurses, from the place where I was vaccinated. This is where now India is trying. Like most of the countries were doing, were doing, but India did that. And there is one more program that is DFC, Dedicated Freight Corridor. is one of the most advanced railway freight corridor in our country which is one of the most advanced freight corridor in whole world that is delivering our exports to new heights and new records after every 3 months period we are delivering new records that is all happening for the first time and we are delivering more exports than usa and uk the students of national forensic sciences university has also proved it There are some programs in R&D of NFSU which are only practiced in whole our world in only NFSU. Cyber defense program is a defense center is a center of excellence. Has some programs which are only practiced in all our world and there are the most advanced programs all over the world. And in last I want to say few lines that when the eyes are open the earth belongs to India. When the eyes are closed the memories are of India. If we die there is no sorrow. At the time of that, the soil must be of India. Happy Independence Day! Thank you, Bhavan, for this informational speech. I would like to request our chief guest, campus director and professor Dr. Navin Chaudhary, on the stage to address a few words on independence and enlighten on Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. respected faculty members my dear students namaskar and a very happy independence day as you know that we are celebrating 
fifth year of independence and the state where you are sitting it got its independence on 19 december 1961 so we celebrate it primarily to remember the sacrifices which the freedom fighters the people who fought for the freedom of this country made but at the same time it also reminds us that we have to also contribute in our own way towards the nation building so that is also the purpose of celebrating this occasion so in a very nutshell look at the india what has happened in the last 75 years how we have grown at the time of independence we had a gdp of 2.7 lakhs now we have a gdp of 150 lakh crore i am talking of so now similarly india has it's not that you know what you see india from a developing country or a third world country it is one of the most progressive nations and one of the most progressing economy in the world so it was not you know a smooth uh, passage it was full of up and downs now you look at it that how the isro has grown they had nothing in 60s they did not have a computer they did not know how to you know uh, proceed so they managed some fund they managed a computer system and then they started working on a launcher the first launcher which they launched it failed then they reworked and that launchers could only go up to some height but that did not deter them they kept on you know and that time also i am telling you that somewhere the vision was to promote a technology so constraints were there but how those constraints were managed the good leaders and the team that matters a lot and that's how when the isros in 1960s they were able to procure one computer system and one software and thereafter they did not look back today india is among the space faring nation we are doing very well similarly the indians they are gifted and if you look at our old traditions our literature the scientific documents which our old saints and sages they have produced the only thing was that uh, because of unfortunately two years of colonial rule and all and imposition of different kind of education system those uh, old documents which were very very valuable it had lot of uh, scientific knowledge base it could not come in the way it could have come out because that was the time the rest of the world was progressing that was the time indian revolution was taking place so that was the you know time we could not grow the way we should have grown but it did not deter us the moment we got our independence uh we 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 are on a fast track of you know development progress and our technology sector has done very well now let's let's talk about that if you go outside if you see our software imports people have already started recognizing india as you know a soft power in it why it happened it's not happened just because all of them have studied in iits or nits or ini institutions of national importance it has happened because of the determination of those young boys and girls who dreamt of making big through their own technical acumen through their own capabilities i dream of a india wherein that son of soil will contribute to india now that is also good thing that india's uh, indians are known for their it proficiency indians are known for their it skills across the world you go to europe you go to america 
okay and they have contributed a lot but how it started in 90s when the software or the programming language was taught only in engineering colleges that time policy was taken okay teach it teach this uh, programming language even at the graduation level okay and then they started teaching at a graduation level in bsc courses slowly in south it started primarily in south that why to restrict it to the graduation level teach them even in plus 2 level at school level so these boys girls they had even no resources studying in a village school they can you know they can dream big they could dream big and they could you know work on they they they, they can you know uh, pick up the uh, programming language they can work on designing software and that's how it took their dream to the newer height and that is how it happened now this i i will call it a it revolution it was due to the policy which india followed that time the not only policy but the boost which we gave to the it education in 90s now it is paying off 60% population is young in india and they are our future so if they dream big they think of doing great things nothing can deter them this campus was inaugurated on 14th august 2021 so we also completed one year of foundation of nfsu goa campus so the academic curriculum it started only in october 2021 now on the forensics front let it be cyber forensics let it be conventional forensics it is the upcoming field and we also take pride in saying that this is the only university in the world exclusively in the forensic and the allied sciences lot of opportunities are opening up lot of new things are happening conventional things are already there but my advice to my students you are at least think what you want to do adopt some latest technologies refine your skill and then in today's world specialization is very important now the world is moving towards more and more towards a domain specialization so having simply a conventional knowledge base of a subject will not work you have to also choose the specialization and you should have a patient for that patient doesn't mean that sir my heart says i should do that but you are not prepared to work hard patience mean heart and mind should be in sync and then you should be putting in all out effort work hard to achieve that that is what is passion and one more thing i want to suggest you forensic experts are not only required in uh, conventional laboratories forensic experts the way this field is evolving you need them in corp not only in corporate world we need them in government also and there are other options also why don't you think of you know even uh, taking up upsc civil services examination because we need somebody who will be working at the policy level also so if he is working at policy level he can you know contribute towards the capacity building of the forensics so we need bureaucrats also who should be forensic expert we need a uh, people working in law enforcement agency with a requisite knowledge of the forensics forensics and we also need them in other government services
So it's not only corporate opportunities you should look for, you should also look for the conventional opportunities which are available to you. There also we need uh, forensic experts. Like I was uh, a, a, a cyber expert at the organization in which I worked, everyone knew me. Because whenever there was any issue related to cyber, they approached me. So when you have any domain specialization, that will become your, uh, your identity. People will know you because of that domain specialization. And this is the right time. This is the right time to pick up and work on that domain specialization. Your parents have full faith in you. They have sent you all the way from their native place to Goa. And uh, campus, though it is a transit campus, we are very soon getting a land, 50 acres of land, and we are going to make good uh, classrooms, labs, but then this campus is equally good, let me tell you. I have seen that uh, your hostel facility is also at a good place. So what I mean to say, very conducive environment to study. Use that time and study hard. Also take this opportunity to mingle with the people who have come from different states. Some of you are from South India, North India, some of you are localite Goan. Because to be successful in life, the great people, the freedom fighters and those leaders they had some more, it's not simply a leadership quality and what we say a leadership quality, it is mix of 21 qualities, if you ask me. And certain qualities which successful people have, they have good understanding of other culture. Okay. So when you interact with people from a different reason, different culture, different faith, mingle with them that you know uh, broadens your horizon widens your horizon the way you look at the people the way you look at the society the way you look at the community and you come out of that regional barriers it also makes you tolerant to attend the you know, events, if you get a chance of your fellow student, if somebody is localized, go and understand the company culture. So that adapt adaptability is also important in life. And once you have that adaptability in life, and that's how, what, what makes a leader. So when you are out of all sort of vices, vices how you will be out of all sort of vices when you, you will adapt yourself and you are not going to get the special opportunity. Your parents have already done your grooming now. Whatever the sanskar they wanted to, you know, pass on to you, they have passed on. Or whatever you wanted to imbibe, now you are at the stage wherein you are going to imbibe more at the academic institution. You are going to learn from your peers. You are going to learn from your gurus to make best out of that, learn in best of the way, enjoy the best of the, you know, uh, guru shishya kind of relationship, extract maximum from your gurus. This semester, you should be thinking big, you should be rejuvenated, you should be, you know, uh, coming out with a lot of new ideas, new expectations, and that is how the life goes on. So, I am very happy that I got an opportunity to be with you on this uh, auspicious day and uh, followed by our foundation day also. And uh, I also saw you, all of you in a good spirit yesterday and uh, I was totally mesmerized. At the same time, I was proud of my students also, the way uh, they contributed in the event, the young boys and girls 
contributing in the event learning the fine skill how the such kind of symposiums are organized and uh, a joyful cultural program wherein you have shown a lot of interest and you have put in a lot of energy so that is great but at the same time uh, we had some sessions for you organized i hope you made a best out of that session we will be organizing similar kind of events more now in a campus of the campus some of the conferences some of the workshop if any student has some talent please come out because we want that those quality should be nurtured here because tomorrow you have to organize a event tomorrow when you go to a corporate world or in a government you have to be a organizer you have to be a manager and you have to be a leader so that environment we want to give you so please come out contribute your bit in small or big way in whatever way you can do while you are in this institution because that will not help you to build your overall personality but we will also take a pride of these students graduated he was our first batch student and see how he is doing as proud outside so let this journey be a memorable one and i am sure the bright faces when i look at i see a very you know a uh, huge chill in you and i also foresee a very bright future of this campus and let's together make it big make it a uh, worthwhile experience as long we are here and when five year hands 10 year hands when we meet you we want to see you as a successful you know a forensic expert entrepreneur or in whatever you know venture you are doing very well let me tell you before i conclude some of the startups we just started two years back in the university they are doing very well and uh, i mean it when i look at them two of the startups i myself nurtured under the cdc roof when i came in 2019 they have got lot of now funds grants and in the future if you see our boys and girls they have even you know got into startup and build a empire like microsoft i will not be surprised the kind of energy the kind of motivation the kind of inspiration i see in them i believe that they are set out to change the entire world with their you know proficiency technical acumen and capabilities they have and uh, i definitely for a very wide bright future for them so one more thing before i conclude don't restrict yourself think big it's not only the conventional opportunities which are available for you in this forensics domain the way things are evolving a lot of new things are in offering think big do big contribute constructively towards the capacity building of institution it is very very important because you are the first batch and you will be the pioneers who will be known as the passed out first batch of the university and you will be our flag bearers <laughs> flag bearers torch bearers and the way you would be contributing you at the workplace that will mean a lot for us and for the coming generation of students at the same time i am saying you you all have a huge potential you all will do well my blessings are with you and the you and always believe the campus which you have chosen we are here and even i am standing here delivering the you know the speech to you because you are the purpose of that you are the purpose because of that i am here so we also take lot of pride when we see our student progressing when we see the students doing well Thank you so much Jai Hind
Thank you, sir, for the delightful speech. Going back to the Indian history of the post-independence era was a pathfinder for us and will give inspiration in future journeys. Thank you, sir, once again. National Forensic Science University.